Hello everyone, hope you're well. I'm here today to film a get ready with me and I really want to try and do this like minimum once a month on my channel because I do go out quite a lot and although I don't really mess around with my makeup, like I do really keep it very simple, I want to try and get out of my comfort zone a little bit and try my makeup skills. I know my channel is mainly fashion but I do really enjoy makeup and I enjoy experimenting or at least I used to and I want to try and get back into it so I'm off out and I just thought I would do my makeup with you guys. I have just done my foundation because I was like you guys have seen me do my foundation a million times and it will take up like literally 10 minutes of this video. Basically essentially what this video is is me playing around with some of the makeup that Nina gave me in my last video that I filmed with her. She gave me so much makeup she literally bought a goodie bag to my house and she knows that I don't really buy loads and loads of makeup so she was so sweet. just was so thankful and I have had a chance to try some of it so I thought I would wear it in this video as well and some of it I haven't had a chance to try. And also I want to try and recreate that kind of halo look eye that she did on me because I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I don't know if this is going to work out. I hope it is, but hey ho, we're going to try nonetheless. The foundation, I'm just wearing, you guys have seen this a million times, Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Foundation. I don't have any concealer on or anything. And the only thing is that I did want to show you guys, but I didn't, I didn't film it, but you guys I'm sure have seen it a million times. Underneath my foundation, which I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell on camera, I've just got on the Iconic London Illuminator Drops, which she knew I wanted to try. And so, like I said, thank you, Nina. Like, absolutely obsessed with them and anytime I actually do try and remember to wear it I do wear it under my foundation so I don't really wear these on top I wear it underneath and these are just in the I think this is like the um, original yeah the original color and they're just the most gorgeous illuminating drops and I will link all of this stuff down below and you guys should if you want to see like a real person doing their makeup really well go and watch Nina's channel because her makeup's always flawless I'm not gonna do my concealer or anything I shouldn't even have really done my foundation but I was in two minds about whether to film this or something else and then I thought no like let's just film this and it's the shadow shield just gonna apply these to my eye the good thing is this might even give me a bit of a guide I'm so happy, like I can't put into words how happy I am that you guys are so happy about my content. Hope you guys can see that I'm really, really trying. There we go, fun times. I just got this in a three for two when I was buying my mascara from L'Oreal and it's just the L'Oreal Paris Eye Paint and it's just a really nice color. It's in the color Nudist 306 and it's just a, it looks like a concealer but it's an eyeshadow base and I'm just gonna use this as an eyeshadow base like the name suggests because I feel like it makes everything go on nicer and I am going to put it all over because it doesn't give off that much colour. Nina has totally got me back into the beauty blender. I hadn't used one in years and now literally I'm going to be talking about Nina this whole video but I haven't stopped using my beauty, beauty blender. I don't know I just think it gives a really nice finish. I'm just going to use my finger and I'm going to blend out that primer. Can't actually lie, I'm really really nervous about this because like I said I don't really do eyeshadow and like you know stuff like that a lot but we're gonna try. It's really hard setting up your stuff when you're doing eyeshadow videos. I'm gonna start off light and then go darker. So I'm gonna use this colour and this is in the colour Caramel and it's from um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm just gonna take a MAC 217 brush and just dip my brush into that. Okay, everyone breathe. Let's see if Barb's can do this. This is gonna be more warm. Maybe I should zoom in. I like, I like talking in these videos. I don't know if you guys like it, but I like watching Get Ready With Me's where people talk. And I've started going to the gym. I know, I know. Anyone who knows me, shock, effing horror. I'm just gonna blend that out with a Sigma tapered E40 blending brush. And it's kind of just got to the point where I need to start doing things for myself a little bit more. I am really unfit and I think it's more like, it's not even necessarily what it is, but it's not even necessarily like a, a lose weight thing. Um, although like I said, it obviously is, but it's also like a health thing. Like I'm really unhealthy. I want to start enjoying exercise. Like I've never in my life enjoyed it unless you would count shopping as an exercise. Um, sport i'm just going to use this color this is actually i think a contour shade by anastasia yeah it's called copper brown and again i'm just going to really use loads of browns to deepen the creases the crease the crease of my eye this is a mac 221 brush it's just a little bit smaller so the darker the shadow the smaller the brush is going to get and um yeah so my mum is like really into her fitness um like super into her fitness she loves it 
and I've never really been, my sister loves exercise as well and I just never really caught on to that bug. I've just always been the really lazy AF, the point where I was like, okay, um, I need to start doing things for myself and I need to start going to the gym. So I've actually got a personal trainer. He is great, he's really professional. I have found in the past, I have had a personal trainer before and they're just like little kids. So I'm gonna do the exact same step. I'm gonna do first that first color, then that second color and then that third color. But this is all going in my inner portion of my eye because this is the whole point of the halo. Yeah, I'm just gonna see how it goes really. Um, I am the reason I'm so tired is because I'm getting up so early to go because I don't want to go to the gym when it's really packed because I do, I don't know if anyone else feels like this, like I'm not even ashamed to say it. I find the gym really intimidating and I don't, I don't actually like it. Um, if I could work out from home, I would. So um, yeah, that's kind of like a new thing that I wanted to talk about. I have a few more other things that I really need to talk to you guys about, but I'm kind of not ready to because I just think I'll sort of just burst into tears. So um, when I feel more ready to speak, I will, but um, I've had a few changes in my life and I'm just going through some stuff, like family-wise. So I'm just going into that color again, that um, Anastasia Beverly Hills color with that same brush. I've got some, when I kind of feel like I'm at the stage of talking about it, I promise you guys I will tell you. But for now, I really am so glad that you guys are seeing that I'm putting so much effort into my YouTube and I'm really enjoying it. And I think that's the key. Like, I feel like for ages, I just, I don't know. It's like I've lost, I'd lost myself almost. I'm just going into that last color. And I think it's really hard when you sort of knock in confidence and I feel like I'd lost myself a lot. Just personally, like not even to do with YouTube. And I feel like I'm sort of finding myself again. I know it sounds so corny, but I have been through a lot. Like there's a lot of things that, like I said, I haven't spoken to you guys about. Um, I have going on at home and just um, like just generally even in my personal life, like with friends, with boys. And it, like I said, it's knocked my confidence a lot. And I'm kind of at this stage where I'm just like, I'm not taking, I'm just blending those colors out. I'm just not gonna take bullshit anymore. And I'm just gonna do me. Um, I'm not really focusing on much except just sort of being happy with myself. I think for a while, like I'm just really not happy with myself. I don't feel confident. I, yeah, and like, I feel like I'm starting to come out of that slowly, slowly. So fingers and toes crossed. I know some of you guys are gonna think I'm insane, but I think every girl goes through that sometimes where you just like, you feel really like bleh. Um, and that's how I've been feeling. And then the whole point of this look is that the middle of your eye has to have like a bit of a halo. Um, and Nina did it on me and it looked incredible. I should really have watched that video back before I did this. So I'm, I don't have, a, like I said, a lot of eyeshadows, but I have these Charlotte Tilbury uh, quads. And in these quads, there's always like a really pretty, shimmery eyeshadow. I don't know if you guys can see the, the champagne-y colors. One is a bit more goldy, one is a bit more pinky. And I'm gonna mix both and I'm just gonna pack them on my lid. So I'm just taking them with my finger. So I've got the first one and then I'm just dipping into the other quad. And the quad's names are Golden Goddess and Dolce Vita. And I'm just going... in the middle there like that. But I do want this to be really bright. So I'm going in again and I've got I've got the big heavy guns at the ready as well because I've got some highlighter that I might use on top. But for me that isn't like enough. I feel like I need a little bit more. So bring out my Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit. This is a highlighter kit which I absolutely love. my face like I was just like WTF so basically from my um from this room I've got the door open and I can see the door and I could hear the door and it was just someone like the 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 guys who um it was just the people who basically hoover like the communal areas and I just like nearly died oh my god I literally had a panic attack <sighs> okay I'm fine forewarned <sighs> there's powder all over this but they're really powdery 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 highlights 
So these are them, and I'm just gonna use, I'm gonna use Sunray, which I think, which is this color here. Oh yeah, that's better. Literally look, there's powder everywhere. I really want this to pop. So maybe if you're doing a look like this, like you don't need to go out if you've got highlighter. You don't need to go out and buy, he was probably hearing me like fucking talking to myself. Um, you don't need to go out and buy like a shimmery shadow. Like I'm sure we all have highlighter here. Let me tell you, I've got enough highlighter and I'm not even a makeup person for about 500 people. I'm just going to, I'm not gonna like m remove it but I just want to blend everything. See, I've removed it. <laughs> Going in that Sunray color again, which is just that one. I'm gonna mix them, I'm gonna mix them, guys. I'm just gonna mix all of them, like the lighter ones. Okay. I was gonna do a vampy look that I showed on Insta, but literally that's just my normal wing liner. So I was like, you guys are just gonna be so bored. So I'm just gonna change up my outfit tonight. I'm gonna do a really plain outfit and banging makeup, which I feel like I used to do back in the day, like when I used to go to uni. Oh, the uni days. Guys, I've had so many like students and stuff recently at work. I'm just like, why can I not? Actually, would I go back? Uh, I wouldn't go back to uni days, but I would go back to uni social life um i do miss it i think my best years were my second and my fourth second and my fourth year i think yeah my second and my fourth year probably the best um just because i met boys <laughs> no, i'm joking they were probably the best though i'm just gonna take the tape off Okay, so that's that. I look a bit scary now. A friend recently went to America and she got me this. Like, I absolutely was so excited. She was like, do you want anything? And I was like, literally, there's one thing that I want and it's literally just this. And it's the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. She got me the color Light Neutral. And I'm my skin, guys, I mean, I've been off Racutane now, oh, like a few months, I think. And my skin is still so dry, which I'm not complaining, but now I kind of like get like the struggle with dry skin like dry skin girls the struggle um like around my mouth is still really dry i'm gonna probably use my beauty blender to blend this out as well it's damp from before i'm really enjoying doing this just please be nice to me guys because i'm not a makeup guru so if this goes tits up. I'm so used to doing concealer first and then doing um, my eyes. I don't like the way it's looking, but hey ho. Then I'm gonna take a pencil brush and I've actually been using this for my, um, for my tip of my nose highlight since Nina did that video. So I need to buy a new brush for that. But this is just a MAC 219 brush and I'm just gonna essentially just copy the same, the same eye shades that I use. So that one, that one, and then that one on my bottom lash line i never smoke out my bottom lash line anymore you guys and remember i used to do it all the time because i literally never do it anymore and then i'm just going to take my ben nye banana powder um, I'm not a big powder girl, you guys know, and Nina baked for me um, in that video, but I don't really use powder, I'm a bit scared of it. Um, I just use sort of semi, I would say, I would say the Smashbox is quite a matte foundation because I don't, I don't set it at all. I'm just going to powder under my eyes, powder everywhere, I'm just going to powder my nose. For bronzer, I have no new products, guys. This is my ride or die. It's just Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess in medium deep. And I'm just using my Marc Jacobs the face brush again. And I'm just going to go in. If you guys want a top knot tutorial, let me know. I don't know if this is like the conventional way of doing it, but I essentially just spray the F out of my hair. And this is like... How many days is it now that I've done the top knot? Like 
two days of committal top knot hair action. There it is, the little top knot. It gets easier, like the more days you do it and the sort of, I know this is gross, but the more days it is that you need to wash your hair, the easier it is to do. And this was something else, like this is such a Nina video, it's so funny. You can tell I really watch her makeup videos. I'm just gonna contour, I'm using MAC Harmony again. Not a new product, but this is, and I did say in that video that I, actually I think it, this was on Nina's channel that we filmed. I bought this because of her and it's the NARS Eta brush and it has changed my life but in a good way because it's great for contouring. So for contouring my face I just put it into the Harmony um, contour powder. This brush is hella expensive but I think it betters with age because Nina's actually felt nicer and she's had it for longer than me. Place this where I just want any shadow and I do go up into the hairline a bit. Especially when I have it like this. And then again go up into the hairline. I have work tomorrow and I'm working at a store that I really don't like. So it's just, it starts to give me anxiety already like the day before. Um, really upsets me. But it's fine. We'll be fine. Positive mental attitude. And then for my nose I just take quite a bit on the brush again and this is on the full brush and I just go down the side of my nose, not side, front, just to recede that in. This looks really weird, this should be like a meme, like, <laughs> looks really funny. And then in that video that we filmed together, Nina did my contour on my nose. Oh my God, it looks so funny. <laughs> I can't even see it fully from here, but it looks so funny already. And she said, Barb's put minimal product on the side. So not on that bit of the brush, but on the corner, taking a tiny bit and then I tap it off on my hand. So I just have a tiny bit on one side, face forward. And I go down, I don't feel like that's enough. She even said to me, she's like, Barb's build it slowly. Don't just like gun ho into it. Does that even look, oh my God, the bottom of my nose looks like, I don't even know what. <laughs> this side, I always find it easier to tilt my head this funny way. Don't ask me why. This video should just be called all the tips and tricks Nina showed me in my last video. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna use my powder brush with no extra powder on it and just soften the underneath bit because it is starting to look a bit cray. And then I'm just gonna soften here, but I think I'm gonna apply a tiny bit more. It's flu season at the moment, so um, I'm constantly doing flu jabs, which is actually a part of the job that I do enjoy. Um, it's nice when as pharmacists we get to be a bit more, I don't know, it's just sound bad, like respected almost. And I like doing consultations and stuff like that. And a couple of my patients, like right off the bat, they were like, you're Iranian, aren't you? And I was like, they were like, you're Middle Eastern. And I was like, hey, do I really look that Middle Eastern? I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you guys think I look Iranian? Do you guys think I look Italian? Do you guys think, I don't know, if you saw me in the street, what would you say I was from? I never, ever, ever get anyone telling me off the bat, you're Italian, ever. If they're gonna say one right, they say Iranian. They never say Italian. I don't know. I look, definitely look foreign, but I don't know. What would you, what would you guys say? If you saw me just like on the street, what would you say I am? Where would you say I'm from? Actually, let's do blush, let's do blush first. I'm gonna use, because I love this one, I've got a fake tan on, which I've got fake tan on today. This is Max. Warm Soul Blush. This just brings me back to the good old days of like Tanya Burr when she used to like sit in her web on her webcam and like do her makeup tutorials. Like she used to slay like she used to do Megan Fox. She used to do like yeah like I remember the those days like the Olsen twins. She used to do all that their kind of makeup looks and she used to use this quite a lot when she was tanned. And it's just Warm Soul by Mac. And I'm just using that on a Real Techniques brush. got to do this whoops I'm gonna blend out my contour I need to be careful of my hair and my blush my skin is so dry like I've got a dry patch I can see like all here 
If you guys can see it, I'm sorry. My skin is just genuinely really dry. Can't put into words how excited I was about this collection anyway, but I'm so, I'm so sad I missed out on one of the products and I just, I can't even like describe. And Nina used this on me as well and then I bought it as well and I bought one of the lip products which I used in my last Instagram post which I'll put here and it was a lip product so if you guys do want to see that vampy makeup look like i definitely will do that makeup look again for a night out so i can always film it it's just it will be a bit boring because it's just my winged liner look but anyway i did buy some of the dose of colors katie collection um products and the one that i was so excited about sorry i'm losing my voice the one that i was so excited about was the highlighters oh my god like the lip product is amazing i wore it all night the other night and i ate and i ate like greasy like kebab like chilo kebab in for, like for anyone who's iranian and i still like it didn't come off for anything and the highlighter you guys i just I honestly can't and I missed out on Fuego and if anyone's selling theirs or anything can you please let me know because I really want it and I just keep wishing that it comes back into stock but this is mirror me it goes on the skin and it looks like butter and frosting and just everything good about a highlighter and I'm obsessed with this obsessed I haven't stopped using it since I got it this is just an Anastasia brush and I'm just gonna take it and what I like to do is really pack it on and then take some off on the lid so hence why my lid is already really dirty but it does come with a mirror just definitely no mirror there just a great load of highlighter and i like doing this side first i do have some of that highlighter on underneath so the iconic london and then this is just gonna go oh my god someone please i just can't And I like to do my highlighter first and then I do my brows, I don't know. basically like to glow. Glow, glow, glow. I take some on my finger and I just put it on my cupid's bow because we don't have... We need health in this department. And Nina in that video, what she did for my nose is she took quite a lot on her finger and she pressed it on the bridge of my nose. So I'm just going to press and it out with that brush. Could even take a beauty blender i wash this every day anyway i might even just put some on my eye just to intensify that halo even more some people do a halo i think underneath their eye as well but i'm not going to do it for this purpose of this video and then i don't have my tippy brush so i'm just going to use a lip brush but it's really little and i'm just going to take um some of the product put some off on my hand um, because I just want to highlight my tip and Nina said go a bit higher than I would think so I'm just gonna go there BAM and then I'm just gonna take my beauty blender I'm just gonna bounce my beauty blender on everywhere just so it blends a little bit better um, I need to get a new one and it's the NYX Tame and Frame Brow Pomade and it's in the colour Brunette number 3. Um, I love this when it's not dried up but it's just mine has really dried up so I'm just going to take a tissue and my brush is really dry as well so that doesn't help. I'm just going to brush them up with my brush which the brush I'm using is the Anastasia Beverly Hills in number 12. I've got foundation and highlighter all over my hands. Um, and I'm just going to... carve out the shape I do like my brows quite drawn in but not too drawn in if that even makes sense let me know what you guys think about my get ready with me's are you enjoying these? Do you think they're boring? And then for the bottom bit here, I just like to do a more precise line. And then I just kind of feather up what I have with the brush. I don't add more product at the front. What do we have to do? Lashes. And um, I am gonna put brow gel through my brows as well. I've got the Benefit Gimme Brow. Let's just do that because I'll forget. Can we just please like assess the glow? I can't, I don't know if it's just me in the viewfinder, but 
Oh my god, please. For lashes, I'm just gonna use my Voluminous Mascara. I'm not gonna do my crazy, I feel like my highlighter on my nose isn't blended. My crazy brow, my crazy brow, my crazy mascara routine. I'm just gonna put a light coat of mascara because I don't like my lashes to be too um, too crazy when I put lashes on because I find it's harder to put the lashes on. Oh my god, this look is so pretty. I can't even deal. Why have I never done this makeup look before? She showed me that she got me, like, she gave me a pair of these. I was like, oh my god, I've never worn a pair of Lily Lashes before. She gave me a pair of the Lily Lashes in the in the style Doha. And I need to buy these. Like, I'm such a Ardell Demi Wispy person that I'm scared I'm gonna find it hard to put these on because they are quite thick, like the band is thicker than I'm used to. I'm gonna do this off camera because I know this is gonna be a shit show and I don't want to sort of be taking like a million years to do this. I'm so excited, they look absolutely stunning. So these are the lashes on, they're really pretty and uh, fluttery and everything I sort of expected Lily Lashes to be like. I do have to still wait for the glue to dry and everything, so just bear with me. The only thing with these type of lashes is I feel like you can't see the, um, what's the majig? The halo as much. I don't know, maybe it's just what I'm seeing in the viewfinder, but the halo is still there. So maybe I should have gone for a more sparser looking lash. No, they're still, I've got them on now. I still really like them. So we're just going to roll with it. Now we're moving on to lips. And this is something again that Nina gave me kindly her pencils. She didn't like, she was like, no, you have to have it. You have to have it. So as soon as this runs out, I'm going to go and buy one. But she essentially uses a eye pencil as a lip pencil. And since she's got me onto this, I haven't stopped. Every time I wear lip liner, like, or eyeliner, I wear this. And it's just the NYX light brown eye pencil. It does, the only thing is it does get like, like the nib doesn't stay sharp very well. So um, I'm just gonna sharpen it. So I do tend to sharpen it each time that I use it. I'm gonna put a tiny bit more highlighter on my Cupid's bow because as soon as I put the lip pencil on, it's gonna disappear. I'm going to start, and I do it quite lightly. Um, because it is quite pigmented. I got this trick from Lisa Lisa D1 who I'm I love like I love her videos and she kind of like feathers her lip line up and I think that's what makes your lips look bigger. Oh no, camera battery flashing. Um, for my lips, I'm just going to use this another Nina thing. I did tell you guys, she doesn't really wear pinky um, lip colors, so she gave me this, and it's the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Sao Paulo. And this combination, if you like your mauve pinkier, nudey lips, this combo of this lip pencil with this just makes your lips look like 20 times bigger. And the last, 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 last step is some setting. This isn't technically setting spray. This is just like a, a sort of water um, just to make everything go together. This is Zara Zinc by La Roche-Posay. And this actually has skincare properties, like it's got zinc in it. That actually wasn't the last step. I'm gonna wait for this to dry. Um, what I do is the Nikki tutorials trick. I like sort of fan myself. I'm gonna wait for this to dry and then I'm just gonna put some lighter shadow in my inner corner because I really liked it when Nina did that on me last time as well. So hopefully I did her justice, let's see. Some of the Mirror Me highlighter and I'm just gonna put it in my inner corner, taking my lip brush in my inner corner. So guys, that's the finished look. This is my glowy night out makeup, the halo eye that Nina basically did on me, me trying to recreate it. And I really like it actually, like um, I think hers was definitely better, but I tried my hardest. I do really like it and obviously the highlighter and everything is basically the star of the show. Let me know down below if you wanna see more makeup tutorials from me and I, well not really makeup tutorials, get ready with me. And I would try and film them because like I said, when I go out, I'm gonna try and be good about filming my makeup before I go. And obviously thank you to Nina for all the amazing products. I feel bomb tonight, like honestly. And for kind of like getting me back into makeup, I think 
yeah, I just need, I need to try and be more adventurous with it and at least do a bit of a smoky eye every now and again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know down below by liking the video, commenting. If you guys are all doing well, I'll see you all soon. Bye.